Okay. But that's a really cool idea. So I'm glad you told me to come back here. <laughs> Good evening. I'm going to call the meeting to order this evening um, because we have to elect a temporary president since Mrs. Slapinski, our regular president of the board, is unable to be here this evening, as is Mrs. Sarsfield, who is our vice president of the board. So in a moment we will have um, a move to elect Mr. Lapidus the temporary president. But before we do that, I would like to welcome all of our board members. And before we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, I'd like for us all to stand and to please take a moment of silence in order to pray for the 59 victims who were massacred in Las Vegas. Mrs. Nelson, would you like to read the mission statement? Sure. The mission of the School District of Springfield Township is to educate and develop all students as learners and citizens who are high achieving, resilient, and responsible in a changing global community. Thank you. And Mr. King, would you please read the um, approval motion for Mr. Lapidus before we do roll call? Board of School Director approves Walter Lapidus as the temporary board president for tonight's interim board meeting of October 3rd, 2017. I'll call the roll. Mr. Chapman. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm, I'm voting. I'm sorry. I'm, this is voting on the motion. We'll get to the roll next. Mr. Lapidus. Yes. Ms. Nelson. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Dr. Tara Tusky. Aye. Mr. Taylor. Aye. Congratulations. You have the gavel. Announcements. The board at its discretion may videotape all or any portion of public board meetings subject to the limitations set forth in policy 006.2 broadcasting of meeting. Board meetings will be broadcast on Friday afternoon following the board meeting. Are there any public comments on agenda items? Uh, administrative report, Dr. Hacker. Thank you, Mr. Lapidus. I just wanted to thank all those members of the public who came out last week on Thursday evening for our presentation on the K-2 elementary school and the status of our construction on that. We had many productive comments that were expressed that evening, and I appreciate the fact that several of our board members were there as well. So thank you for, to those of you who were in attendance, Dr. Tarotusky, Mr. Lapidus among them. 
Um, it was a wonderful evening and I think the residents who showed up had a wonderful opportunity to express their thoughts about the project. Um, we also have on October 19th, which is a Thursday evening, right here in the same location, the Freeze Lobby, our Act 34 hearing. This is a hearing that is required by Pennsylvania's Department of Education anytime there is a new construction project. Uh, the purpose of the meeting is to give residents and community members an opportunity to provide comment on the project. At this time, we will review the project history, the options that have been considered, the financials, as well as giving members of the community opportunity for feedback and for input and comment comment. This is an official hearing. It will be transcribed. Our lawyers will also essentially take charge of the meeting, but the structure of the meeting and the contents will be very similar to what we actually presented last week. But it is another opportunity for members of the public to come out. I also do want to mention that a copy of the Act 34 booklet, which has already been prepared and has been advertised, is available on the main page of our website for anyone who would like to view that prior to the meeting. Personnel. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors approve the following personnel as presented in the attachment. Certificated personnel, support personnel, temporary personnel, extra pay for extra responsibilities, conference workshop attendance. Is there a motion? Second? Questions or comments? Um, Mr. King. Mr. Chair, Ms. Nelson, Aye. Mr. Ray, Aye. Dr. Terry Tussie, Aye. Mr. Taylor, Aye. Mr. Lapis. Aye. Number two, overnight thespian trip. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors approve Marlene Thornton to accompany Charles, uh, Charlie Beal, board member, to the PA State Thespian Student Officer and Adult Boarding, Adult Board Planning Meeting October 13th through the 14th, 2017 in Central York High School. Is there a motion? Second. Second. Uh, questions or comments? Mr. King? Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Nelson? Aye. Mr. Ray? Aye. Dr. Tussie? Aye. Mr. Taylor? Aye. Mr. Lapis? Aye. Number three, overnight thespian trip. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors approve thespian troop 1154 to attend the 2017 Pennsylvania State Thespian Conference and perform a one-act play November 29th through December 2nd. It's a very long act. 2017 at Central York High School. Is there a motion? Second? Questions or comments? Mr. King. Mr. Chapman. Ms. Nelson. Aye. Mr. Ryan. Aye. Dr. Tussie. Aye. Mr. Taylor. Aye. Mr. Aye. Number four, parameters for new bond issue, series of 2017. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors approve the resolution authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds, series of 2017, in the aggregate principal amount of up to 12 million, provided it is the school district's intention to issue no more than 10 million in aggregate principal amount for purposes of, one, providing funds for the acquisition acquisition, design, construction, furnishing, and upgrades to the Springfield Township High School, two, providing funds for the acquisition, design, construction, furnishing, and any other expenses related to the construction of a new elementary school, three, HVAC upgrades of existing school facilities, and four, paying all costs and expenses of issuing the bonds. Is there a motion? Second? Any questions or comments? Mr. Ray? Uh, Mr. King, would you know wh why the need to issue the 12, or what's the what's the purpose for the extra $2 million? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a parameters motion. So in, in order to for the, our um, financial team to have as much flexibility as they can, um, each of the terms over the 20 years, the interest rate is set at um, 5%. There's no way that in each of those years we'll be paying up to 5%, more like somewhere over two and maybe a little less than four. But for the parameters, they want complete flexibility for the rate in any of the given years. So they plug in 5% for each of the terms. When they do that, the principal <laughs> amount comes up to no more than $12 million. 
there, we will not be at 12% in any of the terms. We will be below those, those figures. And we will be below 10 million um, once we have uh, all the bids entered off the internet. Thank you. Mr. King? Mr. Chat. Hi. Item number five, correction to bus purchase award. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors amends the August 15th, 2017 bid award to Bright Bill Body Works, Inc. for four units to reflect the correct total amount of 442220 Dollars less trades previously incorrect amount approved was four hundred twenty two dollar uh, four hundred twenty two thousand two hundred twenty dollars less trades is there a motion is there a second any questions or comments? I have a question okay go ahead I just want to understand the nature of the error was it a clerical error and the bid was correct at 442 or was it incorrect in the bidding it was a typo and the, it was one numeral, as you can see, yeah. that was different, yes. I mean, just I just want to make sure that, that, that the original bid from the bus was the 442, and we just typed it wrong when we approved it. Yes. Thank you. Mr. King. Mr. Chapman. Ms. Nelson. Aye. Mr. Ryan. Dr. Terry Tuscan. Aye. Mr. Taylor. Aye. Aye. Number six, sign language services. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors approve the contract for services as needed with Deaf Hearing Interface LLC and Springfield Township School District as per the attached attachment L. Is there a motion? Second? Any questions or comments? Mr. King. Mr. Chapman. Ms. Nelson. Hi. Item number seven, high school stadium negative change order. The recommended motion is that the Board of School Directors approve the attached negative change order to field turf to remove the installation of the track material and remaining allowance from their contract in the negative amount of $317,152.32. Is there a motion? Second. Any questions or comments? Uh, I just wanted the question, is this the sort of reciprocal amount we talked about last at the last meeting because we added it to the contract? Okay. Yes, at the last minute you at, we added it to Mid-Atlantic. Mm -hmm. We had some negotiations left to complete. Um, we've completed them, so this is the, the negative change order. Mr. King? Mr. Chapman? Ms. Nelson? Mr. Ryder? Aye. Are there any public comments on non-agenda items? Uh, future meeting dates. Uh, there's a school board meeting on Tuesday, October 17th, 2017 at 7 p.m. here in the Freeze Memorial Lobby. The interim board meeting will be on Monday, November 6th, uh, 2017, 7 p.m. at the Freeze Memorial Lobby, and the Academic Affairs Committee will be meeting on Thursday, October 5th, just two days from today, 5.30 p.m. in the administration building. If, if I may say something, uh, with everything that's going on in the world, I think we have an opportunity to help. I think, are we still collecting uh, for the hurricane relief? I don't know what the final date is on that, and Dr. Rittenhouse is not here, so I'm not sure whether or not. I spoke to the students in the Voices of Excellence who are helping along with other organizations at the high school last week, and they said that at that time they were still collecting. I don't know if it goes through this week. I, I think it does because I still have stuff in my garage, and my wife is on top of this. And I think if we can give blood, I think that might be a very worthwhile endeavor. Thank you, everyone have a good night.